Hey everybody, this is Steph Mischuk with KillerSites.com. Just in case you want to know, this is me. Uh, in this screencast, I want to talk about um, URL paths and, uh, and links and how they affect SEO, search engine optimization, and the usability of your website. I'm going to teach you how you should construct your links so that they tell users and search engines immediately about the various subjects on the various pages on your sites. So let's first look at a couple of basic URLs like killersites.com or jQuery.com, etc. So and killer video store of course. So let's go back to killersites.com and well let's talk about killer sites. Killer sites is an old URL and it, it gives people only a vague idea of what it's about. People often are confused about what's killer sites about. So it's a pretty good URL in that it's short and pretty easy to spell, but it's not as good as other URLs simply because it doesn't tell the people uh, viewing it what the site might be about. So let's compare and contrast that to Killer PHP. Now this is a sister site that I developed and it teaches PHP basics and object-oriented PHP. Killer PHP, I think, is a more obvious name. It has the advantage of being short and catchy. Killer, easy to remember that word. PHP, if you're in the web design world, uh, even a little bit into it, you know what PHP is about. So you got a pretty good idea of what this site's going to be about. Killer, if you're not from uh, North America or Europe, if you're from uh, other parts of the world, killer is a, uh, it has a positive connotation in certain contexts, meaning it means something really good. It's, uh, it's positive. It's not killer as in killing. Just, just for those international uh, uh, viewers out there. Let's look at another domain name. So let's see an old site we put together. Well, I put together. Howtobuildwebsites.com. Now, in one sense, this is a horrible domain because you got all these little dashes here, right? Imagine somebody, you know, you're giving this domain out to somebody and you, you have to, you know, spell it out for them on a piece of, you know, how dash to dash build dash. You get the idea. It's kind of silly. But at, on the other, uh, in the other hand, it's actually a pretty good domain name in terms of, the, you know, that it's really clear what the website is about. Now, since most people actually will do a search on the web. So I'm going to search Google and say, all right, uh, web design tutorial. And look at that, how to build websites, number one on Google. So you see, I didn't really have to type out how to build websites.com. I just had to uh, write it in here. I just did a click through rather, and I got to the site. So. There's a certain disadvantage of having a very long-winded domain name like this in that it's hard to type out, but there's also a tremendous advantage in that it can be used to describe the nature of the site. So it's not necessarily great for branding, but it's good for the user because they'll know what it's about without even having to read anything. And the search engines will know what the site is about without having to do much. And you know, nobody knows how much Google and the other search engines uh, put weight in terms of the basic URL that you have, your basic domain name. In weight meaning, you know, how much they value it in terms of the search rankings. But I suspect it's still pretty high because if I have a site called howtobuildwebsites.com, Google's probably willing to figure that it's not about phishing. You know, they probably, you know, they're probably, you know, Google's algorithm is probably putting a lot of weight. Say, okay, this site is probably about this particular subject since this is the base uh domain or URL. URL is short for Universe Resource Locator, just in case you're not uh, uh, up to speed on that yet. It's a nerd's way of saying links, I suppose. So we've looked at a few different types of domains, the short, easy ones like Killer PHP, and it tells you something about the site, although it doesn't really say that it's a tutorial site, uh, a video site, but it tells you it's about PHP, uh, whereas Killer Sites is even more ambiguous because it's you know 
it basically, you know, it doesn't say killer, you know, maybe if it was killer websites would be better, although it's not our domain, so uh, don't go there. Uh, what's the next thing? We see we have killer JavaScript, of course. Let's look at CSS tutorial. You see, now CSS tutorial, I would argue, is amongst the best of the uh, domain names because it's very short and concise and it uh, tells you a lot about the site, right? So if we type in, just curious, we go CSS tutorial, I'm searching Google here. And as you can see, the W3 schools beats me out, but these are the guys who actually handle all the web standards. These are the, the main honchos, but we're number three. So that's, uh, that's pretty good, actually. So we're the second site on as far as Google in terms of importance. And again, we have our tutorial, eight parts or whatever it is, all three parts. And um, that's it. So there you go. You've learned a little bit about URLs, the importance of URLs. Uh, having self-describing domain names are kind of cool. And uh, shorter is better. But sometimes there's a trade-off where you might use a long-winded one like how to build websites to get out the meaning of the site. Let's look at uh, something a little bit deeper when you get into URL. So if we go into, uh, let's say we go into a site like, so I'm in my blog here. And I'm going to show you how, let's go into this one. Okay, so let's, let's, this is actually the killer video store. And we're in a subsection. We're in the Dreamweaver subsection where we list the various Dreamweaver videos that we have, video courses that we have. Now, if you look at the URL up here, it says videos-dreamweaver, you know, .php. This is a pretty good URL because it uh, tells the web uh, browsers, uh, web search engines rather, that this is a page about Dreamweaver videos. Um, you notice we use a dash and we didn't have, we, we don't, we could have had videos and then Dreamweaver without a dash. The reason we put in dashes because it makes it easier for the search engines to, to decipher uh, the meaning of the page. So if I had videos dreamweaver.php, it would be a little bit more difficult for Google and the other engines to decipher the meaning of the page. But by having a dash, the search engines are smart enough to know that you know these are two separate words and thus attribute meaning to this particular page. Let me show you an, uh, an example. Let me show you an example now of a crappy, uh, well, not crappy, but not necessarily the best URL uh, because it, it gets just a little bit too long, maybe. And this is right here. Now, this is in our magazine, which is really just a WordPress blog. And it's dated by year. We don't go by month. We date by year. And this is the title of the particular post. Now. This again, it's kind of cool in the sense that it uh, tells people what's going on on this page, but it's also really verbose. And in fact, uh, this URL is kind of, uh, it's, it's, it's too much. There's too much here because there's some information on the, in this URL string. This, uh, when I say string, it's string of text. It goes back to programmers talk. There's too much text here. And the text that's too much is this stuff. This, Two. See, this is a video off of this two of our Dreamweaver CS5 course, of course, but this two is really not very important for most people visiting the site. It would have been better if it would have been Dreamweaver CS5 dash video dash tutorial text fields dash areas. Now, th this is long to begin with, even if I took this out, but and that's debatable. Maybe, maybe we could have Dreamweaver 5 dash CS5 dash text fields dash area. So it could have taken out maybe all of this. And you have a much shorter URL. Uh, I would have at least removed this. Um, yeah, that would have been better. Not that, again, I don't think anybody's going to actually be trying to type out one of these uh, URLs by hand. They'll just click through from uh, some other site or from within our blog itself. So uh, there you go. So I think you've uh, picked up a few things in terms of SEO tips, uh, usability tips and uh, structure tips. You can also learn from URL structures in terms of how to uh, organize a site so the site is logical from the user's perspective. Uh, I'll have to get into that, I guess, in another video.